Hey, that's me here, I'm back to the tunnel for I've done it again. I'm back to the Garner <coughs> Full Manager series. And um yeah, so today we're up against South Africa away in in a friendly last friendly before the African nation, so let's get straight into it. Uh, strongest team possible, um obviously apart from the one undecided striker issue which I'd like you to tell me about after um this game, because uh, 'cause I'm going into my that'll be after that will be my first um what you call it, my first game of the tournament. So I'll need to know my striker. Matthew Omoa will eventually be my main striker, but until he's fully fit, um, we're going to probably have to play the first two games without him, um, or with him on the bench at least. Um, so, yeah, so tell me either after this game, having looked at both strikers, I'm going to make a decision on who I think is the best striker to go with. At the moment, I'm leaning more towards Frimpong. Uh, your text, Frimpong. That's not a manual. Um, but yeah, I'd like you to tell me your opinion in the comments. Um, so today we've got um, Larson, I don't know, the goalkeeper, my main keeper. Right back got Incum, Vorsa, Mensa, Afol along the back. Montari, obviously playing the anchor man role. Essien, Asamoa, and uh, Ayu in that th in the three in the midfield. And Boateng playing behind Jordan Ayu up front. Uh, South Africa obviously brought out the big guns as well. Kumalo, Tushaba, la, 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 and Mfela. They're probably their biggest players. Um, they haven't got the goalkeeper up to his face. Um, I forget the next name. But um, maybe this their goalkeeper that they've got in goal today is actually slightly better. Uh, who knows? Um, we're going to go into this match. We're, we're probably the favourites, to be honest. But it's a, it's a, you know, it's a tough game. Um, it's away from home against the hosts of the upcoming African Cup of Nations which is obviously I'm going to say again the next game so the next game is when it really starts to get serious but it'd be nice to get a win and have the first three games at 100% obviously we won our last two games um, and if you want uh, more more of an overview on how the team sets up go back to the first episode if you missed that because um, that's why I do a whole setup um, video or well, how the team sets up and um, there's also a friendly there um, first two friendlies have been quite easy matches to be honest um, as expected you know but um, um, we haven't conceded yet which is fantastic as well um, if we can keep that record going into the um, Africa of Nations I'll be very happy obviously kind of expected not to have conceded playing with quite a few defensive players and very good oh my god and failures broken that, rec that defensive record for us Hopefully, I was hoping we'd go in with no goal scored against us before the African Nations, but it seems not. Uh, but Mfela, they're getting the goal, putting South Africa 1-0 up early on in the game. Not the kind of start we wanted, but we're going to take it. We're going to move on, and hopefully we can still win this game. Come on, skip it. There we go. Excuse me. And Ayu putting it just wide there, actually. Um, unfortunate from him there. Larson Kowasi, or however you say it. Uh, Jordan Ayu knocks it down to Andre. Um, Asma, Andre Ayu again. Have a shot. Oh, unlucky. Joseph Singol makes a save for South Africa. Shabala la 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 la. Klaassen. Anele. I think he's quite a good. Is he the Hoffenheim right back, is it? Uh, I'm not quite sure about that. Don't hold me to that, but I. Oh, SCN. Very good SCN. You hope he would score from there. He hasn't played the best in his opening games, but he cannot leave him out. He's too big a legend. And he is a very good player. And he's a very solid player as well. Athol. Plays to Andre Ayu. I do tell them to go down the middle. So, oh my god. And that is why you can't leave him out. What a goal. What a goal. I do tell them to go down the middle, but sometimes they go down the wing and do crosses. But if they're doing stuff like this. I'm not going to mind a volley. Oh, that, that is just such a good goal. That's probably the best goal I've seen on Football Manager 2013. Uh, I'd say undoubtedly. Unfortunately, it comes in a friendly and not in a tournament or in a um, any anything like that because it'd be it'd be great to have um, a goal like that as goal of the tournament. Um, but unfortunately, not. Um, oh well. Tishabalalala puts it over the bar. 
Okay, come on. One, one, one now. We can easily. Oh, Vorsa. Good, good jumping. Obviously, just the heading stat just is the one missing for Vorsa. Uh, what's I saying? Hopefully, we can just push on and get this win. It's obviously a tough game, so I'm hoping I can just hope more than anything that we can do this. I think Jordan Ayew, he's good to play against like the smaller teams. Um, don't have such good defenses, but um, for the bigger teams, I think I'm going to stick with um, Jurtex Frimpong until Amoa comes back, unless we can get Asamoah Gyan to come back from international retirement, which I doubt. But there's Jordan Ayew saying maybe, maybe just give me another chance. Um, obviously, I'm going to bring him off at half time. Going to give him a half each. I know Frimpong gets the half against the more tired defenders. But that's just how it goes. I, I, did, I wanted to. That's just the way I wanted to do it. Uh, someone's been injured. Uh, just taking a knock, I think, is what it is. I'm not quite sure who. Go on, Ethel. Good, good win. Okay. Go on, Inkum. Oh. Pass it. Play it out. Play it, oh, play it. Play it through. There are gaps to play it through to Jordan Ayew. They're just not finding him. Now we're starting to move forward. Drift forward a bit more. Go on, Ayew. Oh, has a shot. Sure. Tried to dribble him really. Um, Ayu, Andrew Ayu, obviously. Asamoa. Uh, go on, Essien. Just play it through. Play the through ball. Oh, don't play it back. Just, oh, take a chance and try and go through them a bit. I mean, look at them, they're coming straight at us. Yes, they're knocking it back occasionally. And then it's a meaningful pass straight away afterwards. Um, anyway, let's get Frimpong on. Oh, come on. Come on. Right, let's just undo that. Frimpong is now on the pitch. Um, got the team to go out there. Hopefully they can do well. And hopefully we can win this match. Frimpong replaces Jordan Ayew up front. Essien has probably been our best player on the pitch today. Which is strange because he's, well, he's not been our worst. But he's been, you know, definitely certainly not our best in the opening games. That's the big game mentality he, he does have, I guess. Um, hopefully we'll come up against a team like Ivory Coast or someone like that. I can come back and he can help us win against them. Because they're the only team I really fear. Well, not fear, but um, I worry about when we go into. I think we can beat anyone else quite easily. But Ivory Coast, it's obviously going to be very, very tough. Um, the main thing, partly just because they've got their team all set out. They know their team. Um, they're all very experienced, but they're still all very good. Players like Drogba, Kalu, still playing um, at high levels. Obviously, Drogba in uh, China, not exactly a high level, but you know he's just won the Champions League. You can't exactly say because he's playing in China, he's a bad player. He's obviously went there for the money. Um, but unlike um, Asmo Gian, he's an absolute legend, and he actually helps out his country. Unlike Asmo Gian, who as soon as he gets a bit of dosh, he fucks off and retires despite being really young and despite Drogba being really old um, that's the one thing I wish we had someone like Drogba up front um, oh my god we're throwing it away again alright I'm going to make some substitutions now um, Essien's going to have to come off unfortunately he's just too tired no I don't oh. right then let's do it this way I'm really Sometimes when I click the wrong thing, I mean to. It's so frustrating. Um, so let's get uh, Alan on there. Let's get um, let's get Burton off because he's not he's not playing the best today. Frimpong's not exactly doing anything either. Um, let's get Jonathan Mensah on. How many subs is that? That's four. Yeah, four. Addy, you could always bring him on. Let's get on Addy. Move him up to a full back position. Uh, wing back position, sorry. We're losing now, so um, I'm going to try and press on a bit. Um, look at that, <laughs> look at that. Just, just a bunch of bosses playing. And any more substitutions on? There's no one else I really want to bring on because I don't think it's going to help us if we bring anyone else on. So let's just leave it like that. Um, 
and hopefully this can now get us the win or at least a draw. I believe this has got penalties on it as well. So if we can get a goal, uh, then it will go to penalties and that will be very nice um, to win on penalties. Obviously good practice going into the tournament coming up. John Mensah in Kuhn. But our goal is just so fantastic. It makes you wonder. Um, you know, you rarely score great goals like that. Do you need a bit of a fluky, well not a fluky, but like a more of a tap in, like, you know, more of a common goal to really prove it. That's why I kind of sometimes think you sometimes need just a proper goal to actually make you think, yeah, we can actually win this game. When you're in this sort of position that we're in now, where you've already scored, but it's kind of a goal that will probably never happen again, to be honest. Um, oh. Well, certainly not in this game, that'd be very unusual. Um. So yeah, hopefully it can. Uh, Larson Kawasi, Kawasi. I'm just gonna say Larson to be honest. From now on, uh, you, you'll know. You know now. From, from now on, Larson is just the goalkeeper. Larson Kawasi. So much sure hard to say it. Right, let's go overload. I really don't want to lose the last game for the tournament, but um, sometimes you have to lose to the greater good I guess or whatever it is people say <laughs> sometimes I just say things and I just like hang on why did I just say that and that was one of those moments oh come on get it out we're on overload not fucking contain yes good keep going no kick it frimpong oh just try to take that one down and try and have some confidence in your ability go on in Kim. possibly our last chance now with a corner kick Who's going to take it? Frimpong for some reason. I would have thought Ayu would be taking that. That was an absolute waste. I don't know why Ayu was not taking it. Um, although, in all fairness, I cannot complain as I did not actually set up set piece takers, which I'm going to do straight after this match. Uh, Frimpong win that. Oh, Inkoom! I need you to just be on your guard. Expect those. They're going to waste a load of time. I think we lost, but what can you do? 10 seconds after they got the ball, they're going to waste some time, that's the final whistle there. I think we deserve to win, we're a better team than South Africa in general. Um, I think we played better today, uh, let's look at the stats. Well, I'm actually, yeah, we had more possession, more chances. Um, certainly deserve to win, I think. We just couldn't finish, that's what it was. We need a striker, Asamo Gian, stop being a prick, come and play for us. That's all I need. <laughs> That's my GM. No, I'm going to go ask him again, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure I will say no, but... You know, what can you do? Private chat international. Special retirement. How do you get them to... It, do you do it, if you do it in a passionate way? Can you get them to do it? Great for the team. Oh, it's so annoying. He's 20 fucking 7. Why would you retire? It's because he's got f fuck loads of money. That's all he cares about. I mean, look at him. Imagine if we had him in the team. He's got pace. He can head the ball. He can finish fairly well. He can dribble. He used to be such a legend. He's just become such a fucking dick. He used to be funny, dancing around, absolute legend, and then he moved to. Oh, really does ruin players' money. It really does. I remember this guy in Football Manager 2008. He used to be an absolute boss. <laughs> um, so let's get these set piece takers done. No, that's not all I wanted to do. Go into this. Um, Oh, God, look, let's do it in this. I want to set it up properly. So we've got corners we need. Where is he? Andre are you? He's actually that great at corners. Um, that's why I think he's taken. Uh, let's get Inkum as the main corner taker. He has got the best. What was that? Is that crossing? Yeah. Ayu does have good crossing. So I'm going to put him on the right side. So he can whip it in. Um, so all with really good crossing. Mm. 
No, that'll do. I think Ingram's going to be my main right back anyway, so he'll probably be on the pitch most of the time. I always go near post. I have done ever since whichever one it is was with the near post glitch. Um, what do I want? Which I don't want Vorsa. I want Vorsa like on the goalkeeper because he can jump, but he can't really head the ball. So he can, and he's also very strong, so he can kind of bash the goalkeeper away. Um, let's have um, Ayu looking outside the area. I want the left back to stay back. Um, right back can go short because that's that will mostly normally be in Coombe, so you can do that. Um, who do I want at the near post though? That's the only problem. Well, if it, it wasn't going to be Vorsa, who would it be? I'm going to put Vorsa there. Um, and then we need someone on the back post all the time. Always, so uh, let's have him on the keeper. Let's have SEN. Uh, attacking the back post and uh, him, Mentari there I think that's fairly good um, with this I always have one guy on the edge of the area two central defensive central defense, central defenders um, marking tall players full backs on the post midfielders there and then uh, some striker up there I don't know, oh, I can't speak uh, I haven't got a free kick taker either, this is really bad. I'm tempted to put Essien just because, no, Andre I scored one, so, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's basically, that's enough to get you, uh, Richard Kingston, don't tell me he's my second best free kick taker, my backup keeper, oh my god, let's put Essien there just in case he's not on the pitch and we don't want a random guy taking it. With free kicks I really can't decide. Um, so if you could suggest what you would do with this team, obviously not the best in the air, but very strong and very quick. Um, maybe try and play it short, maybe just play it in, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see. Defending, free kicks, I always do three in the wall, so that's good. Incoom and Pouncil as the right-sided throw-in takers. Just always the, the full-backs take throw-ins for me. Throw-ins left, we want it quick because we like to play quick and I can catch them out uh, right actually no I want to put them people no let's do it just short and stick everyone in the box and so it's like a bit like a corner um, yeah that's what I want and I want just one player hanging back and actually I think in this situation you kind of have to no, actually, I can put the right back at the back. Um, but yeah, I always leave one at the back. I know it's a bit risky, actually. No, I normally leave one looking outside the area as well, don't I? So yeah, that's that. Um, let's get the right back there, and we want... Well, that's continuing in the background. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. If it hasn't saved, I'm going to flip out. I'm not sure whether it does save. I haven't, That's never happened to me before. Uh, set piece creator. No, I'm pretty sure it's saved at all. We're on the throw and right, weren't we? Um, so that's right, we want short. Uh, we, we need this guy to swap him. We go in there. I'm going to put the left back stays back. He looks at the area. You go forward, you go forward, um, so yeah, that's, that's that, done. Penalty takers, obviously I, it, for me, it doesn't matter, like, what your penalty thing is, I look at composure, and even finishing as well, so next I'll go Montari, um, and then Jordan Ayi. it goes, for me it goes, penalties first, that's the first thing I consider, then their composure, and then their finishing, um, so we've got two 12s, composure is the same, but Asamoah has better f finishing than SEM and we'll put a Pogu up there as well, just in case. Actually, no, Boateng will be my next one, but well, he's not even going to go up there. Um, so yeah, that's finished there. So that's all the tactics. Again, these have normally been 19 to 20 minute videos, and normally won't be. They'll normally be normal episodes, just normal games. Um, but I've had to, a lot of stuff to sort out, uh, a lot of stuff to show you and stuff like that so yeah but that's in this episode thank you for watching please leave a like if you did enjoy the video
Ooh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.